Thanks, mate. Okay. Thanks. What's your name? Les Gibson. Hi, Les. Les Gibson. Yeah. And uh, what are you doing for us, Les? I'm doing impressions today. Brilliant. Good. Good. At school, I was quite shy. The other kids used to have a sly cigarette behind the bike sheds, and uh, I used to impersonate all the teachers for them. I started doing talent competition, local ones in Blackpool, just to gain experience. And then I started on the clubs in the holiday parks. I've been doing impressions now um, full time for 13 years. Working for myself right now, it, it can be a very insecure job. It's very hard work, driving up and down the country, wondering where the next gig's coming from. This time when there isn't as many gigs as usual. And, you know, you never know what's around the corner. You get you ready. Les Gibson. OK, and how old are you, Les? I'm 41. Tell me, what do you do during the day? Do you have a job? Um, I'm a comedy impressionist and I work on the after-dinner circus. And how old were you when you started? I started doing impressions when I was 11 years old. All right, do you think you've got what it takes to win this show? I think I have, yeah. Good luck. OK, thank you. OK, welcome back to Australia, where the phone lines are now open. So, if you would like to see Lord Sugar stay in the jungle, dial 090-3232-01. That's right, the phone lines are now open. <laughs> Is that you? Don't forget. <laughs> so, don't forget your thought. I prefer mine. That you would like to see stay in the camp. So... For Ross Kemp to stay in the jungle, add O2. <laughs> and add O3 for coronation. I don't think you're that camp normally. You don't, you don't normally sound like that. So, here they are in the Bush Telegraph, pleading. <laughs> OK, maybe a little bit. <laughs> now, uh, I don't want to hear any more from you two, so I'll get back to the bloody tree house. <laughs> now, the other day, I did one of those Bush took a tasks. And all I got for my dinner was a bloody kangaroo ear and chips and beans. And to be honest with you, I don't like beans. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody at home. Put your coffee down, your Jeffy cakes, and tell the kids to shut up. <laughs> I'm Ross, I'm rough, and I'm tough. Before I came to the jungle, I went to the fairground on a ghost train, front carriage, all on my own. <laughs> It's me, Kevin Webster. <laughs> That's good. I'm not doing this for Sophie. I'm not doing it for Rosie. I'm doing it for her, Jack. Because she's going to be a mechanic like me. And do MOTs every day. Thank you. <laughs> Les, um, I thought I, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I thought you were brilliant. I thought you were charismatic. It was brilliant to start with Anton Deck. I yeah. don't know what I found funnier, how much I enjoyed you, or the fact that David Hasselhoff has no idea who any of those people are. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that just shows you, know, I can't wait to see what other impressions you can do and to work on. You've obviously got a very versatile, diverse range, and well yeah. done. Thank you. Thank you. But now for the opinion that counts. All I can say is I had no idea what you were saying. <laughs> but I absolutely enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. Because you were confident, you took the stage, and you know what you're doing. That's what this show's about. Congratulations. Great job, man. Well done, Les. Obviously, you've been doing this for a long time. You, you know what works. I'm delighted for you because I thought you were fantastic. Thank you. What do you say, yes or no? Um, Les, it's a definite yes from me. Well done. Thank you. It's a yes from me. What do you say? Well done. 
<laughs> I was just trying to tell him it was it was me and Cheryl Cole, wasn't it? That's that's who that's who you wasn't me and him. He thought it was too calm. I'll we'll have to keep it quiet all day. That's <laughs> Kevin Webster was genius and Ross Kemp. Yeah. Is it good? It, yeah, really good. <laughs> It's just, a, it's just a buzz to go on there and the atmosphere is electric. Yeah. That must have been so weird for you. But I knew how good he was. He was so confident.